Good afternoon, this is Joe Vec, Vic from CME Group here in Chicago. The corn market traded higher here on Tuesday, posting some fresh multi-month highs in both old and new crop contracts. We had uh, the highest trade since last summer in our nearby July corn futures and also in the new crop December corn futures. We've had some friendly news as of late. Uh, first off, we, we've got a late start to planting here in the U.S., no doubt about it. USDA told us that only 17% of the crop was planted uh, as of this past Sunday. That's way behind the 32% average, so the trade sees that as being a little bit friendly. Do planting delays mean a whole lot when it comes to final yield? Probably not, but it is seen as being a, a slightly friendly headline this week. In addition to that, demand for U.S. corn has been very good. We remain the cheapest feed grain available on the world market. Exports should continue to thrive. The ethanol grind's been pretty strong here. We've got big livestock numbers. So uh, certainly some friendly news on the demand side. Um, in addition to that, we've got some dryness in Brazil. You know, Brazil puts out a second corn crop, which is actually the larger of the two. And uh, it's, it's nearing that pollination phase, which is very key in terms of production. Uh, the forecast looks dry, so people may start to walk back their projections in regard to that uh, Brazilian corn crop. Now moving forward here, we're going to continue to focus on weather. And once the crop is planted, we'll start to focus more on you know, what's possible in terms of U.S. production. That's really going to be the big ticket item. It's the biggest swing item on the balance sheets, and that should be the focus of the corn market here for the next several months. Again, Joe Vec from CME Group here in Chicago.